Hello, this is Venti at Sensors Tech Forum, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Analytics to block a website that's really annoying on your website. And that sends referral traffic and may infect your users with malware. Now, go to the admin panel of your Google Analytics webpage. From there, you should see a view tab. From it, choose filters. Now, once you go on to filters, you're going to see a button that says add filter. You're going to see beside it a filter name and a filter type. Click on the button that says add filter. This is the button that allows you to add filters and block traffic coming from or to such websites. Now you have apply existing filter where you can add websites that are that you have previously set filters for and you can also remove them. And what we're going to do now is create a new filter. Now, first you're going to need to name your filter. I usually use a system uh, because there are a lot of different websites and host names. So, yeah, I put the extension in uh, brackets, for example, this one. And there's two types of adding a filter, predefined and custom. As you can see, the custom filter option uh, allows for a more... Uh, modifiable blocking of a of a host domain IP address any information that you have so use it only if you have extensive information on what you need to block now to make it simpler for you we're gonna review not the custom option but the predefined option which will allow you to select the filter type which is the first thing you need to do uh, it can be two types ex exclude and include we're gonna select the exclude filter um, now it's time to select the source or the destination if it's included um, you have four options here and we're gonna select the traffic from the ISP domain option because uh, it's from the domain that you see referral traffic coming from now you have here the domain if you know the domain you should enter the main domain name that is connected with your referral traffic of course uh, there's also an option where you can enter the IP address which is also a good possibility this way you block all traffic from the IP address but it's not always the best option because different IP addresses may distribute different spam so you have expression now this is a very important part here the expression is you can block that exact domain or you can block any URLs that begin with this domain this is very important and I allow you to I recommend you to select it because for example if you have referral traffic on any web links linked to this domain they will allow you to block them as long as they begin with this specific domain um, it is very suitable and very comfortable now let's go ahead and click on save now as soon as you save this traffic uh, it's gonna start blocking it uh, basically you have here the, the traffic, the filter name, uh, and you have uh, the type, which is exclude, and you can also remove it. Now I'm going to show you a really cool tool on how to exclude all traffic from any related domains completely. This is a really neat website called tikicounter.com slash whois. When you type it, and when you type the domain name and click on the whois button, it's going to show you extensive information about the domain. Here we have two IP addresses that are associated with it. You can also trace the route of the uh, host and see any hosts that are related to it. Here, here we see uh, seven hosts that are related to this host. And the most important thing of it all is that you can see the extension of the domain. Let me show you. Now, you've got here .com and .net. These are two other domains and you can also see information about those two domains so you can block them properly on your website um, it's really blocking in Google Analytics it's really about the information that you have on the host that you want to block uh, you see that when you open this domain right here you can see that is the one is the proper one that we need to block because it opens the same web page as the other domains okay so we're gonna add another domain here uh, as you can see it helps us completely block all of the domains let's see we found net so we're gonna add net uh, exclude filter 
traffic from the ISP domain and then we type the domain uh, it could be uh, I've typed it wrong here just then save it and basically that's it guys thank you for the video and make sure to like and subscribe if you have any questions or problems with your uh, Google Analytics you can also leave us a comment and we'll make sure we'll answer in the comment section as fast as possible with the relevant instructions. Thanks for watching guys.